So the first question I wanted to ask you is, what are your thoughts about using educational technology in the classrooms? I don't think you can do without it. I mean, if, you, if you're not using educational technology in classrooms, you're not educating. That's where this world is going. Some people would not like, you know, to see everything done electronically, but I think that's where the world is going. I so another question I want to ask is, what opportunities do you think we're going to have as students in the future because we're using technology for learning now? You know, I'd like to tell you I know, uh, but I think, every, uh, I think everything is changing so fast, it's hard, hard to say. What I can say is that unless you've got a basics understanding of what's going on in information technology and the digital world, you're not going to get ahead anyway. That's Another question I want to ask, do you support ongoing professional learning and um, coaching for teachers how to effectively uh, implement technology into the classrooms? Oh boy, you know, you're, you're preaching to the choir with me. I was on a school board for 11 years. And you know, education never stops. I don't care how old you get or what your position is, education never stops and we ought to teach that to folks. Education never stops and your teachers need to have the same ability. And so, you know, I'm, I'm a strong supporter of doing that. Legislature. Okay, my name is Tad Williams and I work at Fritch Elementary School as the STEM coach and I am a commissioner on the Ready 21 project. I've been on that board, this would be my second year. Okay. Um, first question I'd like to ask, do you support professional teaching and coaching for teachers uh, on how to properly integrate technology into their classrooms? Yes, that's a great question. As the coach at Fritch Elementary School, we have teachers using laptops, Chromebooks, they've been using Google Classroom. A lot of technology teacher uses the little robots. We are trying to get a lot of educators and teachers comfortable using more technology because we all know kids love computers. What's your name and your position here at the legislature? My name is Andy Morenci, and I am the principal and executive director of the Honors Academy of Literature. We're a charter school located in Reno, and we're here today for the charter school days at the legislature. Okay, wonderful. First and foremost, I wanted to ask you, um, what opportunities do you think we'll have as students in the future um, now that we're using technology for learning? I think technology is such a good asset in learning. Uh, right now, we're educating for students for jobs that don't exist yet. They anticipate about 65% of students that are in school now will hold jobs that don't exist yet. And so making sure that our students are well-versed in technology and uh, collaboration skills, critical thinking, is really important for us as educators. Um, okay. How do you plan on giving students, like every student, access to these technology and online tools giving students access to the same opportunities? Great question. So at least at our school, and that's what all I can speak to, we are one-to-one -one technology and we use Chromebooks as our platform. In addition to that, we use iPads as a capture tool. Uh, we're working with a school out of Silicon Valley right now on a learning platform called the Alt Platform and Alt Tool. And what that does is it is allows teachers to design individual curriculum and push it out to students on what they call their playlists. And so we're really able to meet students at their developmental level and give them specific of it content that they need and that's important to them. How do you think that's preparing you for your future career? Um, well, first and foremost, one of the biggest things, especially now that we're in the 21st century, is um, new jobs, especially since now everywhere you look, everywhere you see phones, technology, you know, programming, robots, whatever, all that sorts of stuff. And um, for example, we have courses at our school where we have some computer programming things. We're already working as news anchors and working with technology to film and produce videos, all sorts of things like that. And I think that's really important because later on in life, there's going to be new job opportunities, as you mentioned previously, um, that we're going to be able to take because we have these, this experience and we know we're exposed to technology and these types of things that we are definitely going to use later on in life and we're going to be able to get jobs that involve those types of things. Okay, so my name's Ethan and I'm here for the Digital Day. Uh, so I'm just here to ask you a few questions. So what's your name and then what's your role here at the legislature? Hi, so uh, I'm Gavin. I'm actually a lobbyist here at the uh, 80th legislation. 80th legislative session, uh, so I go around here talking to people and giving them uh, the information that they need uh, to make any legislative decisions. Cool. 
All right, so what are your thoughts about educational technology use in schools? Oh, I love that. I love that idea. The more kind of technology we can get into our schools, and uh, the more people can learn, and the more um, you know people can have fun doing stuff. So. All right, so how do you feel technology can keep students safe? Mm. Yeah, I can definitely see that technology can be used to protect students. Uh, I mean, we can look at uh, metal detectors uh, to be able to make sure that students are safe whenever they enter the school. Uh, and any kind of uh, form of technology that can help students be safe in school and, and make them feel safe and, and help them learn, you know, that's something I can definitely back up. So, All right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, hello, my name is Joseph um, from Carson Middle School. And we were um, wondering if you could introduce yourself and um, see if I could ask you a couple questions. So, uh, what is your name? My name is Kat Terrace. I work for the Legislative Council Bureau here in the Fiscal Division. So I'm over here every single day. Okay, um, first question. How do you feel about um, kids in um, middle school and just schools in general using technology like computers in classes? I think it's a fabulous tool and I think it's smart for all kids, especially in middle school, to get a good start on using technology, how to use it, and it really does well for your future in high school, your career, that's how I feel. Okay, thank you.